Yo, I'm Jazzy, but you can call me Jazzy for short. And I'm Abigail, but you can call me Abby for short. Welcome to Open Sec Mathematics, where we say, don't panic, it's just maths. Math is all about numbers, what they mean, how they work, how to put them together, and how to pull them apart. We know all those things, but here's something you may not know. Not only is maths about numbers, it's about different types of numbers too. We have whole numbers, we have real numbers, we have imaginary numbers, we have rational numbers, we even have natural numbers. But we're not getting into all of that today. Today, we are dealing with directed numbers. Directed numbers are numbers which have both size and direction. It's basically all the numbers you already know and love. And their friends. You might be asking, Jazzy, why is math so complicated? What is size and direction? Why are some numbers negative? I mean, I know times are hard, but my mother always say, even in hard times, keep a positive mindset. But that's not the kind of negative we mean. To help us understand a bit easier, let's use a number line. A number line is an imaginary line used to represent all the numbers. On a number line, zero appears in the middle. To the left of your zero are your negative numbers. To the right of your zero are your positive numbers. Now, let's just say hypothetically, I have zero dollars and zero cents in a bank account, right? <clears throat> hypothetically. Yes, hypothetically. Now, even though I have zero dollars and zero cents in my account, the bank charges me a ten dollar service. Personally, I find if I have zero dollars in the bank, they should give me a little ease. But instead, they want to take my ten dollars. So from uh, zero, they leave me with minus ten dollars now in my account, which is even less than no money. So I had zero dollars and then they took ten away from me. This is one of the principles of directed numbers. When subtracting, the values move to the left of the number line. As you can see, negative numbers are denoted by putting a minus sign in front of the number. Positive numbers can be denoted in two ways. You can put a plus sign or you can have no sign at all. Also note that in mathematical expressions, it doesn't matter what order the numbers appear in, as long as you keep their company and sign the same. Let's see how our bank account example works as an expression. 0 minus 10 can be rearranged as minus 10 at 0, which are both equal to minus 10. Both expressions give you the same answer. Now let's say after Jazzy gets charged the $10 service charge, he gets $15 as a salary. What happens to his bank account now? Well, here's another principle. When adding, we move to the right on the number line. So moving 15 spaces to the right or places to the right takes us uh, from minus 10 up to positive 5. I now have a little $5 in my bank account. I look nice. Let's see how this looks as an expression. Knowing expressions can be rearranged. Minus 5 plus 10 can also be written as 10 minus 5, which is equal to 5. Let's look at this principle. When adding a negative number to a positive number, since the signs are different, we subtract and take the sign of the bigger digit. Yes, that's correct. Don't get too excited, Jazzy. Let's say you work for the government, so your salary reaches your bank account late. And before it reaches your account, you get charged a second $10 oh, at the bank. Well, that means I just need to move 10 more places to the left from minus 10, which takes me to minus 20. Correct. Let's see that as an equation. Negative 10 minus 10 is equal to negative 20. How did we arrive here? Well, let's look closer at the principle. When subtracting two negative numbers, since they have the same signs, you can add the two numbers together and keep their signs. So I'm getting more and more complex stuff here. Well, what if you add a negative number to another negative number? Can you do that? Yes, we can. For example, if on top of you having negative 20 in the bank, I also had negative 10 in the bank, you and I would have negative 10 plus negative 20. But that's a negative and a plus sign next to each other. Let's use a hack. If you have two consecutive signs that are the same, we apply the positive sign. If we have two consecutive signs that are not the same, we apply the negative sign. So that means minus 10 plus minus 20 is basically minus 10 minus 20. So if we have the same signs, we have the same vibe, that's a positive thing. But if we have different signs, that's a different vibe, that's a negative thing. Look at this. 
If you have 10 minus negative 20, that is two of the same signs. They are on the same, same vibe. vibe. So that's a positive, positive thing. So 10 minus negative 20 becomes 10 plus 20, which is equal to 30. Right, right, right. This thing getting serious, though. It's getting serious. If you are having trouble with any part of this topic, feel free to rewind. All right, we have a few more things to show you. If you understand how to add and subtract directed numbers, multiplying and dividing them should not be a problem. When multiplying or dividing, if the signs are similar, the product will always be positive. For example, minus 10 by minus 10 is equal to 100. Also, minus 100 divided by minus 10 is positive 10. If the signs are different, however, then the product will be negative. You could apply the sign vibes rule from earlier on. For example, minus 100 divided by 10 is minus 10. So moving forward in algebra, let's continuously pay attention to adding and subtracting as opposed to multiplying and dividing. And that brings us to the end of our video on directed numbers. We hope we helped you to understand the concept better. When it comes to maths, however, nothing helps you like practice. True, true. So check out our worksheets and e-forum in the description below. This episode of Open Sec Math was produced by the Two Cents Movement, sponsored by BP, with the help of these people and viewers like you. Subscribe to this channel and turn on post notification for more episodes. Just say hypothetically, I have zero dollars and zero cents in a bank account. <coughs> Hypothetically. Done. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs>